um, being very what concerned. What about since last year, Mayor? What about it? Is it more dangerous this year than it was last year? I'm going to ask I, the I, chief I, to, to, well, to asking, give you the data. I'm asking, Mayor, um, because I see the crime is up 27 percent. That doesn't sound like a decrease to me. So you know the right. You know the right. And you know how the right is big on being tough on crime and the Democrats just want to free all criminals and the polling. If you look at the polling, Americans are actively more concerned about crime these days than they have been in recent years. And to be honest, not that I don't want to take people's concerns seriously because crime is an issue. But it's because everyone on the right is fear mongering constantly about crime and crime is up and crime is bad and we have to crack down on crime. And someone who talks about this a lot is Lauren Boebert. Mayor Bowser, is the District of Columbia more dangerous during your tenure? Um, we, you Congresswoman, as you have heard, uh, we have experienced over the last 10 years decreases in violent crime, all categories of crime. Uh, you also heard me talk about in my testimony, especially in the, in the last three years, um, being very what concerned. about since last year, Mayor? What about it? Is it more dangerous this year than it was last year? I'm going to ask the I, chief I, I, to, well, to, I'm to asking, give you the I'm asking, data. Mayor, um, because I see the crime is up 27 percent. That doesn't sound like a decrease to me. So the truth is crime, especially violent crime, is actually down. Now, we don't have the numbers for 2023 set in stone yet. And in 2020, when the pandemic hit, yes, crime, especially crimes of theft nature, did rise. But ever since then, in 2021 and in 2022, they have progressively decreased, especially violent crime. But if you listen to conservatives like Lauren Boebert or if you watch Fox News, you would think that we are living in some version of the movie The Purge. And look, we have already, as a country on whole, adopted the conservative approach to fighting crime. Americans have more guns than any other country. We lock up more citizens per capita than any other country. And yet still... We are fear-mongering about the high crime rates, which are actually decreasing. We should be the safest country on earth. If they were right and everyone having gun ownership and us locking up more criminals and being hard on crime was the answer, we would literally be the safest place on earth. But we're not. We are far from it. It's not working. That method is not working. The nation is more dangerous with more guns and more violent We're, we're crime. talking about Washington, D.C. here, mm -hmm. and um, I, we have also seen that um, the police budget has been cut, $15 million in, in 2020, Mayor. Um, do you think that this contributes to an increase in crime? I think a lot of things have contributed to e increases in crime across the country. What about in Washington, D.C.? Do you think that the $15 million budget cut to MPD in 2020 caused an increase in crime here in the District of Columbia? I think that we need to have 4,000 police officers um, over the course of the last several years. So you want more police officers? Yes. Um, well, in the past, you've hired on average 300 new police officers each year, um, but in 2022, you hired 103. Um, that's 200 less, and now you're advocating for more police officers after cutting their budget and hiring 200 less police officers. I've advocated for more police every day as mayor of the District of Columbia. And yes, it's important to look at the polling. And the polling says Americans think that crime is up and they are very concerned about crime in their neighborhoods. But if you look at polling over the last forever, Americans always think crime is up. And what Americans think is based off of the media they consume. And if you're consuming a lot of media that says crime is up, we need to be tougher on crime. These soft headed liberals are letting crime run amok. Then you're going to think, yeah, crime is up. In reality, crime is actually down to where it was pre pandemic levels, even maybe a little bit lower and consistently increasing the police budget so that we can make more robo dogs that monitor the cities and give police even more guns and everyone even more guns. It's not going to work. That's not working. We need to try something else. We need to be less tough on crime and more easy on people because those are the countries when they implement those things, the easy on people, the taking care of their citizens, that's when their crime rates go down. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news or politics related, you can check out my personal YouTube page at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.